Ever wondered how tasks find their way to execution in the vast ocean of code? What makes an efficient system tick without drowning in its own complexity? How do you ensure that our code doesn't just sit there, but actually gets things done? You might think an executor is someone who reads a will and hands out the inheritance, or perhaps a medieval figure with a hood and an axe. Well, in the world of programming, it's slightly less grim, but equally important. Welcome folks. I'm Karel, your CTO for this video, where we dive deep into the currents of code execution and discover what executors really are. At its core, an executor in programming isn't about wielding power over code, it's about orchestrating it. Think of it like World Water Day, where the focus is on managing one of our most vital resources, water. Executors manage another vital resource, tasks. They're like the water cycle of programming. Ensuring tasks evaporate into the system, condense into actionable items, and precipitate as completed processes. In a more grounded sense, an executor abstracts away the details of how each task is run. Whether it's running tasks in a simple background thread or pulling multiple threads together, it's all about ensuring that the code flows smoothly without flooding the system or drying up resources. Continuing with our our World Water Day analogy, imagine the executor has the global water management system. It doesn't just randomly sprinkle water or tasks around the earth. It carefully manages where water is needed most, similar to how executors allocate system resources. By doing so, it prevents drought in system performance and floods of unmanaged tasks, keeping the ecosystem of our application thriving. You might think to call upon an executor when you're planning an extravagant underwater theme party for your code, needing to ensure every task gets its moment in the spotlight. But really, whenever your application juggles multiple tasks that need to run concurrently without crashing into each other like clumsy water ballet dancers, that's when you need an executor. It's about keeping the flow of execution as graceful as a river, even when tasks could easily turn it into a turbulency. Imagine if your application were a bustling water park on the hottest day of the year. Without proper management, you'd have chaos with tasks or visitors colliding, queue time skyrocketing, and resources stretch thin. Executors step in as the ultimate park managers, ensuring that every task gets run on the slide without overwhelming the system. They balance the load, prevent bottlenecks at the snack bar, and make sure the lazy river slows at just the right pace. Choosing an executor over a DIY task management approach is like preferring a state-of-the-art water filtration system over a bucket and a sponge to keep your pool clean. You could try to manage concurrency with your bare hands, but why would you when an executor can do it with the finesse of a synchronized swimming champion? It's about efficiency, scalability, and Let's face it, not making your development team want to jump ship. In everyday language, executors are all about making sure that the tasks in our software are done efficiently and in the right order. Kind of like a traffic cop for your code. For those who prefer the complex version, an executor is a component used to manage the execution of asynchronous tasks without the programmer having to explicitly manage the creation, execution, and synchronization of threads. If you've enjoyed navigating the waters of code execution, with us, be sure to check out our other videos. On the left, we've picked one just for you, and right below that is our latest video. Both are sure to dive deep into programming mysteries, though they promise not to get you wet. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures in coding.